and I congratulate you. For most people, this is difficult to achieve. So, you are a person who realizes his dream, or one of them. Almost always, our first tourist for the locals is a way of profit. Therefore, I propose to save money on your basic actions. What is better not to do a first tourist and arrival in Moscow? So, airport. When leaving the arrivals area, it is better not to use the services of illegal taxi drivers. Book an Uber, touch the app and you'll sell save about 80% of your taxi fare. Book an Uber, touch the app and you'll save about 80% of your taxi fare. For a foreigner, it will cost from 70 to 200 euros. The official Uber fare is about 20 euros. You can also go to the city by train. From each airport, there are trains. Interval of 40 minutes. The fare is about 7 euros. Hotel. You can save on the hotel. Booking a room a month earlier. You will get a substantial discount. There is an uh, alternative to the hotel. Apartment for rent. You will have to cook your own food. But this has a number of advantages. Apartment options are many in the application. They are Russian. How to behave to avoid a number of difficulties. Russian and quite hospitable and good natured. Contrary to stereotypes and political trends. Not always smile as it is accepted, say in America or Europe, but don't let that bother you. In Russia it is not always accepted to greet with a smile due to the national character. More precisely we smile at the meeting but not as wide. If Russian will indeed funny, he likes. If sad, it will be sad. That's all. There are no other options. It is really difficult for a tourist to understand the way of life of a Russian person at once. In general, there are 190 nationals in Russia. Russian Russians are considered to be all of them because they speak Russian. Russian Russian ethnically may not be Russian at all. After all, look. This is the Russian in the photo? No, it's Ossetian, Caucasian, hot blood, patriarchal way of life and so on. 
Salacha person has deeper national and family traditions. He would probably be openly out ragged when he saw two men holding hands next to him. <laughs> I am talking about kissing her even do not speak. And this is only because the peoples of the Caucasus is not accepted to pass absentees or travelers. We should not expect aggression from them, but indignation will be for sure. The term tolerance has taken root closer to the center to political conversation on TV but not in Russia as a wall. She has always lived and will live according to your human loves, which in general is not spilled out anywhere and her Russians already ask visitors to show tolerance to their way of life and multinational. On the outskirts of the city or even in general in another smaller city in Russia do not always welcome men with long hair and piercings. One are not concerned. Them is seems everywhere now all can be. We should not promote the LGBT community. In the center of the can you this and say goodbye. There may be disconnects on the outskirts. To know such elementary rules of behavior is useful so as not to spoil your vacation. Enjoy your trip and welcome to Russia.